what a piece of theater Roberto has produced today. You know, we felt John's commentary on the Harbaugh situation needed a backing track. And, well, we felt there was a real parallel to what John was saying and North Korea. So, so thanks that's to what the we did. North Korean men's choir. Thank you so much <laughs> to the North Korean Army for pairing up with the 9 a.m. propaganda we heard where Michigan does everything right. Tremendous. What about Missouri? I'm going to get John a sticker. What about Missouri? Ah. Ah. Woo. In, in all fairness, I he's kind of right. You you don't you don't tell on yourself. Yeah, the NCAA no, has no. said if you're telling yourself, we'll punish. Right. The difference is it's not self-reporting when they're knocking at your door. You also don't lie to them and tell them to f themselves. <laughs> yeah, these are not the droids you're looking for. So yeah, okay. And it's not about a cheeseburger. Please stop everything. <laughs> I still heard that. Yeah, I know, that. dude. It's crazy. <laughs> it's absolute insanity. Uh, so listen, know. we we have a great January show. Six was just a tour group. Okay. See, he, no, no, <laughs> right? There, no. No. No, 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 no. You, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> I don't know what's gotten into you, but this is two days in a row you've gone completely inappropriate. And that's coming from the guy who laughed at the North Korean anthem behind John's comments. <laughs> what, did say, what did I say yesterday? <laughs> um, I'll just say two words for you. Chicken joke. Oh, well, it's factual. It's, it's there. I can't wait to try it out. He I'm bringing Davis on. He said it's factual. I, I, no. Oh, <laughs> let <man>. me... Let, <laughs> Let me deal in facts. Let's start with something fun, shall we? I would like to offer a public service announcement because a major announcement has been made today, and it is something I never thought I would see in my lifetime. But Britt McMurphy has tweeted out, Michigan, Michigan State is going to be a night game. 7.30 NBC. That means that the other two goofballs who normally handle all of Michigan's broadcasts, will be stuck, in air quotes, Big Noon, Fox, OSU, Penn State. So Michigan and Michigan State will be 7.30 on NBC. Here's the PSA I would offer. And it's not hyperbole. I'm being real with you. Because people are nuts, and I don't condone what all people do, but I'm just telling you. Friendly advice if you're a Michigan fan, don't be there. Don't be there. Don't bring the women and children. Don't be there. Don't show up in your egregious butter-themed T-shirt garb. Don't be there. It's the equivalent of playing stupid games and winning stupid prizes. That is going to be arguably the most hostile environment this rivalry's ever had. Ever. Ever. It will be a tinderbox. Don't be there. Find something else to do somewhere other than East Lansing. I would never... If I were a Michigan fan, be at that game. Because there's decent odds you'll be eating a battery. I don't condone it. I ain't telling people to behave that way. But I know what Spartan fans are feeling and how that's going to go down after what went down last year and how MSU got railroaded. Yeah, that is not a place to be. Don't bring the kids. So you're saying it's going to be the equivalent of a Philadelphia Eagles It'll be the equivalent of a late 90s Florida game in the swamp. Okay. I, I thought it Minus was like, Ziploc bags filled with human fluid. I thought it was like the Eagles game. Well, that used to be, Kenny, that's what Florida fans used to throw at Tennessee fans. Mm-hmm. You could fill in what was in the Ziploc bag. Mm-hmm. It's going to be really, really ugly. Now, that's well, just it doesn't straight help. up. Right, it doesn't help that it's going to be later in the day, which means a lot of people, fans are going to be liquored up. It's going to be crazy. Not condoning it, but... It is a PSA. Yeah, don't be there. Because you know you know what going to that game is the equivalent of if you're a Michigan fan? Doing dirt cheap coke. You run into some fentanyl, that's on you. Don't be there. Find something else to do. You're play I'm telling you. There, there are gonna be fights. There's gonna be nastiness. There's gonna be say, stuff uh, you don't want your kid around or your wife around. Right, unless you're talking about just going to the game, wearing normal clothes, earthy and tones, and sitting there and enjoying the game. What if I bring a Michigan State kid with me? Nope. Nope. Wouldn't do it. But right. Do you know what it is? Shout out CJ Gardner Johnson. Do you know what this night game's going to be? Being an opposing fan and going to see an Eagles game. That's what I was saying. Don't do it. Yeah. 
Don't do it. They have a jail at the vet or, or whatever it's called these days. Don't do it. Because when you first brought this up, I'm like, I mean, they're going to have security in the tunnel. Like, I, I can't imagine. There'll probably be like a 20-minute thing. You're like, I'm not talking about on the field. I'm talking about in the stands. Oh, yeah. Like, the oh. safest place to be would be on the field. Yeah, the tunnel. Because, right, it's going to be armed guards yeah. all there that you heard singing to start the show off, making sure nobody's going to do anything. But, yeah, on the field, probably not the best time to wear your favorite Woodson jersey and sit it ain't in the worth crowd. It. And- I would compare it to going to a Raiders game and wearing opposing garb and being in the black hole. Don't do it. Don't go to a Red Sox game wearing Yankee stuff in the playoffs. Don't do it. Either that or make sure you're city- seated right next to the usher. No, and, I, and I'll be very upfront with you here now. Like, look, I love the fact it's a night game. I think it gives MSU an increased chance of winning that game. I think if you're a Michigan fan, you don't want any part of it because let's be real, you don't play anybody. Correct me if I'm wrong, but on the schedule now, your first real road trip is going to be against a team that wants to burn your ashes. Michigan is going to sit here in a bubble bath the first six weeks of the season. Go look. It's why the Harbaugh suspension is not a big deal. They play no one. UNLV, Colorado State, or ECU, or the Miners Club of Denver, or or whatever. Rutgers. Yeah. Their first real game is at MSU, which is now at night. And before you do your little Mr. Bubbles bubble bath routine, you can lie to yourself, which is what you're best as as a fan base. When that game's in East Lansing, that's a coin flip at best. You know it, and I know it. Now, you want to go back to 1930 when people didn't wear deodorant and indoor plumbing was a luxury? Do whatever you want. Start when MSU joined the Big Ten and go look at the games in East Lansing. I don't think we need to go over that pre-roll. So I think it sets up great. I'm thrilled with it. I even think last year, Michigan fans, if you're honest with yourself, you won the game, but it was a little frustrating because you didn't beat State the way you wanted to beat State. That's why they ran a trick play on us at the end. Right. You, You kicked a lot of field goals, but you weren't scoring touchdowns. It wasn't as satisfying to you. Correct. So here's what oh, and I, by the way, yes, we do realize that Michigan is on the road at Nebraska and at Minnesota, but you're what is not that? counting that. What does that mean? But just before we get to text saying well, we do go on the road at Nebraska and Minnesota before we play. Who cares? When has been going to Nebraska? Well, I'm sorry. Is Tom Osborne walking out of the tunnel? <laughs> yeah, I don't think Tommy Frazier is going to be lining up. Right. No. So my point is, this is like, does anyone think Nebraska is going to win more than six games? No. Does anyone think Minnesota is going to be that good? No. Okay, so your hated rival at night at their place in a place that you've never wanted to play them at night. Ever. Now, I love it. I had no problem playing the night game last year, playing the night game in 17 in Ann Arbor. I've always thought Michigan and Michigan State should flirt with the night game kickoff thing. Is this their first night game with Michigan at Spartan State? Yes. Because I know some ended in the night, but they didn't start in the night. Right. No, they've never had a night game against U of M. Hmm. So, look, I think it adds to what, look, it was already going to be a powder keg of a game. And if you're a Michigan fan, you wouldn't understand. You don't need to. But for Spartan fans, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You've sat for a year. You watched eight guys get railroaded. You watched your school get thrown under a bus. All the while, Michigan knew they had a kid on a felony gun charge. All the while, hired a racist. All the while had the OC's house get raided. All the while have the coach under a first level violation, and we've had to sit back. Oh, and all five the while, and seven. No, no, and all the while, as soon as the season ended, all charges were dropped. Correct. Sorry, no harm, no foul. Railroaded you completely. So yeah, Spartan fans are they're they're going to be foaming. So all I would tell you is, you can go do whatever you want to do, but f around and you'll find out it's not going to be a good place to be. I wouldn't do it. If I if I had a a, a, a family member who was a Michigan fan, my answer would be no. You can laugh. Definitely say whatever would, you want. My yeah, answer de- would be no. I definitely wouldn't take kids with you. No. If you're going to go, you probably want to go with your boys. <laughs> you want to go with some well, people with some ride or dies. I think the people to talk to about this would be Kenny because it just means more in the SEC. There are SEC venues you don't go wearing opposing colors. You don't do it. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You don't do it. Okay, macho man. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. Where, Kenny? 
Somebody get Mean Gene out here yeah, with right. a microphone for Kenny. <laughs> a macho man out here. <laughs> Cup of coffee. Where 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 the places? Oh geez. Um, I don't think. Well, first of all, I don't think anybody wants to go to Georgia under the lights. Can we can we start there? Wouldn't do it. I'll tell. I'll tell. Let's use another great yeah, one. Yeah, I'll tell you another one. It like if you're in a rivalry game like Ole Miss and Mississippi State. I wouldn't play yeah, around with that. Yeah, those rivalry games hit Dude. a little bit different. Florida, Georgia, wouldn't play around with it. Tennessee, Florida, wouldn't do it. Auburn, Alabama, they poisoned a tree, Rico. They poisoned a tree. Yeah, Trees more. don't even talk. What if the tree does like, to you? You win. Mike's going to take you to 6 o'clock. No, folks. I just, I wouldn't Tiger do it. Tiger baseball's next. But here's my, yeah. <laughs> you Tiger fans are the greatest. The okay, Tigers. thanks, Ernie. All right, so here's my question. <laughs> I just want to know from the people, does it add to the sizzle? How? What is the hype meter for it? I, look, I can tell you, no, State will not be favored. No, we don't have this amazing, overwhelming chance to win. But do I think it helps our shot? Yes. If I were a Michigan fan, look, I don't think you need to be scared about playing the game. If your team's as good as you think you are, you know what? This is a good litmus test for you. It's good to be tested because then things like TCU don't happen. But overall, going to the game is different than being excited about the game. No, I would not go. Like, if you bring a family. If, and again, the experiences I used to have as a season ticket holder, the problem is the people that generally want to go into opposing territory and wear loud colors and then start yapping, those people weren't hugged enough as kids. <laughs> They're asking for it. And generally, they get it. And that's just, that's unfortunate. But guys... Newsflash, before you make this a MSU thing, look at NFL games every weekend. NFL brawl videos mm -hmm. every weekend. This is society's issue. Because, you, yeah, normally with the road games, the people who walk in there are the, the super fans who want to experience the victory and talk trash and send everybody away and wave to them. And this probably is not the year to do it. This is... This isn't probably not the year to do it. This is not the year to it, do it. That, because thank you. Thank you. You have a frustrated fan base that went five and seven. That, yeah, a lot. You missed eight players in those final games that could have possibly gotten you that bowl berth. And even if it was a dog crap bowl game, you would have gone to one. You could have extended your season. They don't like you. They don't like that you had all the success. And, yeah, it, it'll be problematic, especially if you walk in there with, you know, wearing your colors and pointing and doing a whole lot of stuff. And, oh, by the way, I'm quite sure some people are going to have some alcohol in their system. Not a good mixture. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. So I'm just asking you, what is your reaction to knowing this is a night game now? Now You, you can lie to us or you could be truthful. I, it's up to you. I'm amped about it. And I actually like, look, I have no holy clue what MSU is going to be this year. But I like the fact they're playing a bunch of night games. It's easier on my life. I dig it. Night games, it just makes football more fun. It clears out my day. And obviously with the amount that I travel in the fall, allows me a little bit more wiggle room to get back in I case we're delayed. about that. So, no, I'm, I'm good. Like, I love it. And but if something happens, you're, you don't have all day to be angry. You go to sleep. Bang! Rico wins. <laughs> Two <laughs> Tigers coming up next. You Tiger fans. <laughs> 248-539-9797. Let's get into it. And even though Jim Costa is a thief, we are going to <laughs> re-gift the gift he took from us and do it at three because there needs to be a conversation about expectations. Boy, oh boy, he was lighting Gator up. And we're going to have that conversation at three o'clock. And I think Rico and I have a disagreement. It'll be exciting. It'll be rewarding. 97-1.